Hello everybody, it's John here with another video of Stardew Valley. Um, so, something happened in the last save, and I don't, I'm not sure what, but I had to restart um, the day three. But, uh, this is great because it gives me some time to... I had some time to go, go around the area and explore everything. What sucks about having so many crops is that you need to water all of them, and you lose all your energy, which you kind of need your energy for other things. But, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Perry's place and go and get a some more parsnip seeds. They take about three days to, to, to grow. in a few days here there's actually going to be some some type of other stuff I'm not sure um, board could someone bring me seaweed sure all right let's talk to Perry get some parsnip seeds let's do 15 I think each one sells for maybe 50 each. What I really want to do is uh, try to get up enough, so that way I can, uh, when summer rolls around, I can get the blueberry seeds. Blueberry seeds are 80 each though, so it sucks. Just a lot to do. A lot, a lot to do. Living off the land. What's that say? Another trip for real, now listen up. Find a whole bunch of growing right out in the dirt. That wasn't very helpful. So let's put this in here. This, 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 and that. That's what I was talking about growing the trees. They'll drop seeds and you can just grow them. Which is nice. Yeah, when you get your wife too in the game, she will move into your house and it adds another room, which is kind of cool. I guess. Just more space. I'm not sure if the outside of your house is gross, though. I'm not, I'm not really sure of that. Obviously, you can't use a, an axe on a rock. There's uh, also other ways to get down. There's this area down here. If I can get down there. past all this. These big logs, uh, you need to upgrade your your uh, equipment. Once you upgrade your equipment, then you can get it out, out of your way. Um, there's big stumps and everything too. probably go grab that. But down here is another entrance out of your farm. And you go into this forest area. Uh, here's where you buy your animals. She sells you the chickens and stuff. Your chickens are pretty expensive though. But she's not here so I can't show you that. They don't always stick around. Oop, there's a radish. Um, when I mentioned about the greenhouse earlier, when you, in order to build it, you have to build some things inside the town hall, and when you build the stuff inside the town hall, it unlocks some of the stuff that you can do, uh, like the greenhouse. Um, I'm not sure, but you, some of the things that you have to do is you have to turn in stuff living off the land. Uh, in the spring and all those other summers and stuff, you have specific... That's the wizard's tower. You have specific things that you got to do as far as in... picking up stuff off the land. There's... I'm not sure what all there is, actually, for spring. I know there's the, the dandelions, the... 
daffodil, I think is what it's called. And then there's the... Oh. There's the horseradish. That, that's what it's called. Let's see. Wild horseradish, yeah. There's the horseradish, and then I think there's the turnip in, in spring. I'm not sure where to get those, though. You just gotta kind of search around and find it. Get lucky and find them. Uh, nothing appears on your farm except for what you have. I think when I get further... Oh, I'm starting to feel exhausted. Crap! You want to avoid trying to get exhausted. Exhausted. Because it, once you start to feel exhausted, you only get happier stamina back. So I'm going to go ahead and go to bed. Since we're only 11, up, 11 minutes into the episode, I am going to do another day. Maybe I will go. Nope. If you gain anything, it'll do a little like pop-up thing for you. To I value Jojo Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by a drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entire is entirely legal. Pursuit and unit Jojo a minute of sponsorship. Blah blah blah. blah. We apologize, blah blah blah. Partnage. Okay. So, the jo jo Jojo guy. Oh, parsnips. There we go. Come on. Okay, so. The jo 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 Jojo. Jaja. Jojo. Jojo. Whatever the fuck his name is. He is trying to put the main area, the town hall, out of business, so I can make more money. So I, I need a total of eight seeds. I don't know how much I profit off of it. Like I said, I think it's 50 per parsnip, so... Oh, here's the cutscene with the town town center area, so now you know what, I'll talk, what I'm talking about. Oh, hi there. What an eyesaw. It's basically your job to fix this up. It's the Pelican Town Community Center, or what it's left of it anyways. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now just look at it, it's shameful. These days young folk would rather sit in front of the TV and engage with the community. That's very true. <laughs> That's true to, to our day right now. But listen to me, it sounds like an old fool. The Jaja Corporation has been hounding me to sell it to the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me gets, atta gets attached to relics of the past. Ah, uh, well. If anyone else enjoy it, if anyone else buys a Jaja Co membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. Sigh. Here, let's go inside. All right. Yeah, it doesn't. It takes a long time to upgrade this place because the, there's five cores, I think, and then in each core there's five more cores. So there's a lot of things to do. Oh my God! It's ghost, and it's gone. Perry thinks I'm gonna be go crazy. <laughs> I look on my guy's face. There he is again. It's a me, a Mario. You're wearing me, John. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. 
Oops, I didn't mean to skip that. Whoops. Alright, so while I'm in here, if it keeps me in there, I don't know if it's going to put me back all the way to the one area. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Yeah, I'm going to go back in here real quick, since I'm already here. And I'm going to go over here, where you start your, your thing. I'm going to read this real quickly. Uh, and what that does is that enables me to, t to speak to the... Uh, the one guy, whatever the fuck his name is, uh, the wizard. And the wizard will do an incitation on it and read it and so on and so forth. Anyways, I need to go to Perry. Oh, crap, he's not awake. Or he's not open yet. So we'll go down to the dot. This is pretty much my my same routine until I get to summer. I go down to the dock, see if there's anything down there that I can grab to sell. If there is, then I throw it in my box. I think I put that clam inside the my treasure chest or not my treasure chest <laughs> I don't have a treasure chest it's my um storage chest uh, all right no nothing here did that water the crops at the house I can't remember anyways it's 9 30 so we'll go up to Perry's if I didn't water him I'm going to now I think I did because I filled up. I remember filling up my water pan. Man, my my memory. <laughs> That's not good. I'm only 22. All right, let's go in here. Let's get some parsnip seeds. Whoop. All right, so I'm at 70. Sells for total of 280, so what's that divided by 8? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. These sell for 10 back. Those for all. You don't want to sell these, the horse radish, because you can use them for food when you go in. There we go. Alright, I think I put that clam inside here, so we're gonna check that real quick. Huh. What'd I do with it? Did I sell it? I don't... Well, that's weird. I'll have to watch back the video to see what I did with that. Unless I dropped it. I don't think I dropped it. Huh. That's really weird. Weird. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the episode here. Just because it's good. So let's go up here. We're gonna check out this, this area real quick and then I'll say goodbye. Oh. It must be over here. That, that they were talking about earlier. Yep. Okay. So this is where the mines are at. We'll go ahead and go in here. I'll just cut the episode. But this guy, um, he's an explorer. Hmm. But uh, he'll give you a sword that you can use. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably a good ore down there. I actually need to go down there to get um, a bunch of ore so that way I can make my um, silo because I need five copper. I'm afraid the ore is the only thing that you won't find. Here, take this. You might need it. Listen. Received a rusty sword. My name's Marlin, by the way. So, I'm gonna go down here. Because I do need... I do need iron ore. So basically, this is where you get all your stone. Um, 
man, you get a health bar now. Okay, so for the first couple of levels, you gotta clear it out. Um, you don't want to go down too far because then once you get down to these guys, uh, you want to kind of save them for later because you're gonna need them anyways. Oh, there's that guy. I haven't found out what the slime's for yet, either, unless I'm just slow. Alright, I'm, I'm slimed. Yeah. all these these wooden things you can um break them and get stuff out of them which is kind of nice like wood but this is the copper where I need some of them sometimes they have hardwood which is nice I think you need hardwood wood for uh, some of the the builds actually all right down here. Oh. Oh, that just had a bunch of stone in it. So there's another one up over here. Let's go to that one. See if there's anything inside there that we can use. Uh, there's also some rotten carrots that you need for your your what's it called the the community. Um, so you want to try to save all this stuff. There's a resource one for the community. Good thing about this game is that you don't have like a, a weight limit. That would suck. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to get down to level five. Yeah, these guys, they don't really do nothing to you. They give you monster meat, which. Some copper ore. These quartz are actually useful. There, see, there's that rotten carrot. Um, I'm gonna... Does it say rotten carrot? I'm not sure if it does. Cave carrot. Uh. Move that out of the way because that's annoying. Uh, I guess this one's just uh, mining the rocks until you find a hole. Alright. I'm okay with that. I need stone, anyways. You need 100 stone for the silo. You need 100 stone, 10 clay, um. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this piece of sapling. And pick up the coal, because the coal's actually useful. The quartz not useful. I don't I'm not sure what that's actually used for. Alright, let's get down here. geode. Fuck. I really need that extra space, so I think that's pro will be one of the things I'll first buy. I don't need that. Give me wood. If, there's, if I get hardwood, I'm going to drop the wood for it. That sounds so wrong. I just realized that. <laughs> All 
Alright. Like I said, I don't know what the slime is used for, but I'm pretty sure it's needed. Oh, I'm starting to feel exhausted, so I'm gonna actually just go back to the. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the house. It's 9 p.m. So I'm gonna go back to the house, and I'll see you there. All right, everybody, we're back. Um, I forgot that there's a fireplace in here. You can use the light up. <laughs> But uh, we're going to go ahead and sleep right now and see if we get anything, and then I'm going to end the episode. Nope, I didn't get anything. Alright, well thank you for watching. Um, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you like the video, and like the video if you like the video. And leave a comment if you want. So let me know what I can do to get better or anything. Um, thank you for your watching.